what is paper? Any paper maker will tell you that paper starts with 99% water and 1% pulp. This is something like saying that an automobile is 80% metal and 20% non-metal. But that doesn't describe the difference between this and this, the finest of its kind. What we're really saying here is that Kodak photographic paper is the finest of its kind. It has to be, because it usually takes a fearful beating. It must resist severe handling in water, acid, and other chemical solutions. It must be heated and dried, and after all this, reflect the experience and skill you have put into it. When well made, photographic paper is all of these things and a great deal more. For instance, the high resolution of an aerial map, or seismic convulsions in the crust of the Earth, a record of data from outer space, and professional work of every description. Quality at the consumer level is the chief concern of the portrait photographer. Careful attention to each detail of clothing, hair, makeup, lighting is well worth John Howell's effort in his Winnetka studio. Looking ahead in his mind's eye, he is confident that every nuance faithfully recorded will be reproduced to his complete satisfaction and to the delight of the customer. There's a different world in the commercial studio. Every conceivable kind of setup is typical of the work that passes through here. These are actual scenes of what we found in one day at Cranston Studios in Chicago. These shots will wind up being used in just about everything that's printed or reproduced. Brochures, magazines, posters, mailers, catalogs. They have to sell programs, ideas, products, and they have to be good in every respect. Hoffman LaRoche Incorporated, a pharmaceutical house with principal offices in New Jersey, has developed its own department and staff to meet its range of photographic needs. This implant unit covers a wide range of photographic projects. It has established high standards in all phases of day-to-day -day operations, especially in photography as it relates to the career development or sales training program. The paper print is the heart of the matter in all these cases. And we'd like to show you Kodak's part in helping make it all come about. The story begins in the great forests which provide the raw material that begins the transformation into fine photographic paper here at Kodak Park, long recognized as one of the cleanest industrial areas in the world. Paper making starts with a premium grade long fiber cellulose pulp. But Kodak tests every batch in this miniature paper mill, which breaks the pulp sheets down into a suspension of individual fibers. When the chemist puts them all together again in a hand sheet machine, the fibers will be free to intertwine. It's simple, but it's the basic principle of paper making. The water flows through a screen at the bottom, leaving intertwined fibers in the form of simple paper. A little rolling, and the water is forced out. The fibers compress to make a sample sheet that, when tested, will be an accurate index of the quality of the paper to be made. 
This batch is accepted and now goes into production. Tons of pulp and thousands of gallons of the purest possible water all go into a big tank called the hydropulper. Just as in the laboratory, this will break the pulp into individual fibers. Huge whirling blades at the bottom of the tank will take only a few minutes to break down the sheets into the smooth, homogenous slurry that the papermaking machinery requires. Here's one of the paper machines at the finishing end. It's well over a block long. This complex giant is directed here in master control, where all the operations are under constant supervision. The machine makes rolls 150 inches wide and five miles long. When you stop to think of a sheet of paper five miles long and of unbelievable uniformity throughout, you can see that there's quite a bit to this paper making business. We could go on at length about complicated equipment, know-how built through years of experience. But take our word for it. This is as fine a photographic paper as can be produced. It has to be. And since this paper will be coated with sensitive emulsions, it must be chemically pure and inert. It's going to be washed and dried at high temperatures. And after that, the finished pictures must last for generations. This paper has to be good. To make completely sure, samples of every roll are taken for testing in the lab. Bursting tests. How strong is it? Stiffness tests. Some papers need to be stiff for special handling requirements. Penetration tests. How much resistance to water penetration does it have? Thickness tests and others. This paper has to be right before it goes on to be coated. The paper is slid into sizes more convenient for handling in the steps to come. At this stage, the paper receives a sizing that provides wet strength. Then, Baryta coating. Baryta is barium sulfate in gelatin. It gives the paper a smooth and highly reflective surface that adds brilliance to the finished print. It's applied in a fine, even layer. Up on the racks and through the drying alley. Next, for the smooth finish papers, to the super calendar to press it and make it even more smooth and glossy. Every roll goes into the stock room and won't be released until quality control inspectors make Baryta tests, plus a set of preliminary emulsion and photographic tests. All Kodak paper undergoes a thorough regimen of quality control tests every step of the way. Now to that emulsion making. Here, chemically pure gelatin is being mixed with distilled water to act as a carrier for light sensitive salts. Together, they form a photographic emulsion. Under simulated safe light conditions, emulsion is being mixed in a continuous process. Many emulsions must be mixed in total darkness. Emulsion making, especially for multiple layer color paper, is a matter of critical precision. Precision in chemical content, precision in time, precision in temperature. The paper has passed all its tests and finally is ready to be coated. These operations are continuous, 24 hours a day. 
If one had to pick the most carefully controlled process in the production line, it might well be this one. No matter how fine the paper, it would be of little value without a perfect emulsion coating. The operator not only runs the machine, but is also an inspector. Here, emulsion is being flowed on in a smooth, even, bubble-free coat. After being heated and dried, the finished sensitized paper comes off the coating machine and will soon be ready for final cutting and packing. But first, as always, comes testing. To the recording densitometer to plot the individual characteristics of each emulsion batch. A sensitometric curve that shows speed, contrast, uniformity, and tone scale. It's used as a basic quality control record to compare individual emulsion batches with each other. The curves should plot the same, and they do. Quality control doesn't stop with just testing the product. The test procedures are constantly improved through continuing research. For this, many strange exotic instruments and testing devices are used, and they tell us whether how we test is correct or not. This is the swellometer. True to its name, it measures the amount of swell of papers in liquids. Chromatography is a useful analytical method for separating and identifying extremely minute components of mixtures. This is another example of the effort to improve one of the world's finest products, Kodak photographic paper. Down the home stretch, where the finished photographic paper is cut into sheets and rolls, then packaged and shipped out ready to do its part of the bargain in helping achieve professional results. The moment of truth for the portrait man is the presentation of proofs. Proofs that are really fine quality prints. There's always one that seems to catch the eye. You can bet that frames are a lot easier to sell when there are stunning prints to go in them. Prints that are a joy to all and that receive showcase treatment. In the commercial arena, where pictorial quality has to be taken for granted, those fibers and that emulsion we saw earlier, taking on new identity as photographic paper, they mean something else. They mean paper that holds its shape, that cuts clean, that takes toning, artwork, and airbrushing. They mean a paste-up and layout that can go into photomechanical reproduction as a routine matter in a business where any routine matter is a welcome event. It means an end product that invites attention and stimulates buying. At Hoffman La Roche, Small medical conferences in daily training sessions rely heavily on the faithful reproduction of human anatomy. Color prints made in their own lab provide this vital and essential information. Every sales representative has his complete anatomy and pharmacy study book. Whatever the scope of your professional photographic operation, whatever the help you need to deliver the kind of results important to you and your customer, there's a Kodak technical sales representative in your area to assist in any way possible. Kodak shares with you the responsibility for making a success of that sheet of photographic paper. Computer-controlled inventories and immediate personal attention get your order on the way within 24 hours. There are over 7,000 different kinds, grades, and sizes of Kodak paper for the photographic needs of business, industry, and at the consumer level. It's a long way from the forest where this all started.
But at every step in its making, we put into that paper dependability, versatility, repeatability. In short, quality. Quality of the highest order we know. Roll after roll, box after box, sheet after sheet, Kodak paper does the job you count on to deliver results. The pictures that are the heart of your business. As a professional, can you afford less?